Hey guys, what's up? Um, today we are going to be um, I'm going to be showing you how to activate debug mode on Sonic 2 for the phone. Now this is pretty easy. Now, the, but you have to watch closely because there's a code to this. All right, but watch really closely, okay? Pay attention. So if you push start game. Push no save mode and choose whatever character you want. I'm gonna be Tails. He's a cool guy. Now wait for okay. Now Sega! Put and Sega. And if you hear a ring sound, you did it right. Now hold two fingers down. I'll let you know when to, when to stop holding them. When it takes you to this blue screen, then you can stop holding them. Now, now if you followed all the directions, then that means you did. Then that means you did it right. Now go to now push one on sound test. Push yeah. Hold up. Let, let me do that again. Now it's on test. Push one. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Push one. Nine, nine. Two. One, one. Two. Four. Heard that ring sound? That means you did it right. Now, now choose any stage you want. Like, I'm gonna go for chemical plant. I'm gonna go for chemical plant and two. Now to activate de now to activate debug mode I forgot all those tails I thought it was Sonic and tails anyway to activate debug mode itself simply push the score times or rings on the top left then you'll start off as being a ring to move ar to move around you just simply just move around with the um left right top or bottom button now if you want to place an object just push the jump button. You can repeatedly keep doing this to get more rings. Let me show you an example. And uh, not only that, if you but if you want to switch an object, just simply push the plus button or minus button. Not only you can place um, boxes and rings and all that, but you can also place post signs. Um, end of the, you can place end of the level stuff like post signs or that um thing that keeps the animals. And also, you can place enemies or deleted enemies from the past. Now, <laughs> that was awesome back in the day. Now, oh yeah, and you saw how it just changed your chaos back? Just simply push the score times and rings button to change back to your character. But I'm not done yet. Now you saw me collect that ring. I got one ring. So since I keep since I keep spamming this ring, watch how many I'm gonna get. Fifteen, because I kept spamming it. <gasps> Not only that, but you can also be super tails. N well, it doesn't have to be tails, but if you, but you don't, but um, and later I'm gonna teach you how to change your character without doing all that again. But if you want to be um, the super whoever you are, um, simply if you see an S like a red S like this. I would keep spamming it because you're gonna get 999 rings, which is obviously 999 rings. And you can become super tails. Cool, right? Okay, now let me t now let me tell you how to switch your now let me tell you how to switch your character. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you if um you don't have to push pause and push exit. Don't do that, okay? Simply you have to be on debug mode then push plus to go back to the select screen. Now, if you want to now if you want to change your character without doing all that code stuff again, push 0 3 times with the play button. Push 0 3 times. 1 2 3. It, this screen will show up. See where it says player? Don't um you see the flight button? That's only for tails. If you if you want him to allow fly or not to fly or not. No. See where it says player? Well, how how I have Sonic and Tails here? You can switch it. Like you could be Sonic alone, Tails alone, Knuckles alone, Knuckles and Tails. But the player one is gonna be Knuckles. Sonic and Tails, which we already know about. Sonic is gonna be number one. And I don't know what air cap does, but I do know what flight does. Uh, to just to say it again, flight allows tails to fly if it's on or off. Anyway, um, um, I guess that's it. Um, have fun with debug mode. And if you did, and if you didn't um understand any of the steps, you, if you want, you could just rewind this video.
and you can have fun. Anyway, guys, I hope, and if you're wondering why this has no music, I just, um, I tried making the same thing last time, but the music was too loud, so you guys couldn't hear me, so I had to delete that video and make another one. And this is the other one, so don't, so don't ask why I don't have any music. And, um, hope you enjoyed this video, if you want, if you want to follow, uh, great, that was, that was awesome, that was so awesome. And by the way, you can still fly with tails in the phone. But to do this, you have to download Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the phone. This is awesome, isn't it? Now, um, just in case you don't know how to fly with Tails or Sonic, um, um, look up, alright, and then keep jumping while holding up, and then Tails will fly. But if you keep jumping, Tails will fly even more up. So make sure you try to catch him, and then keep pushing the jump button to make Tails fly. And if you want to move him around, you know, just move the jump button, it's easy. Okay? Alright, I'm guessing that's an okay. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, if you want to wow, if you want to follow me on SoundCloud, um, it's called Yam's Guns, and if you want to follow me on, um, WOW! Some arrows, and if you want to follow me on my Twitter account, same thing, Yum's Guns. Actually, hold up. Wait, let me do something real quick. Okay, guys, um, I'm back. And, um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, um, for my e um, just follow me on Twitter. And if not, and if that doesn't show up, just put, um, Bye.